Once upon a time, there was a player in every corner doing tricks for a dime. All the streets were cold. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another After Dark Clean With Me. These are always some of your favorites that I share on my channel. Anytime I go around a month without sharing one, I start getting a bunch of messages from you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this super relaxing cleaning motivation. I have picked some songs that I'm really, really loving and I feel like it just sets the mood. So go ahead and turn this on, get something to drink, and get ready to get motivated in the most relaxing way. On this night, Kyle was actually working late, and so the boys and I were just starting to clean up the living room. As you can see outside, it was not quite dark when we started. However, it was around nine o'clock. I don't know how it is where you guys live, but where we live, it is not getting dark until closer to 10 o'clock. So I start kind of having the boys wind down around 8.30 or nine o'clock. And so on this night, because I was filming and having to clean the house, I just had them help me out in the living room, and then I just sent them upstairs to have a movie night. Once the boys were all set up upstairs in the playroom, which is where they usually sleep during the summers at least, and on weekends, they always love sleeping in the playroom. Anytime they get to sleep together, they always are excited to do that. So once they were all set up upstairs, I just moved down into the kitchen and started cleaning everything up and kind of tidying things up. And the first thing I always do in our kitchen before I tackle dishes or anything is I always will clear off the countertops. And I feel like this is something that I do in this order just because it's something that you immediately see a difference in. And anytime you can see that difference right away, it really motivates you to continue on. Next, I just had to take out our recycling. I'm still thinking about getting an actual recycling garbage can, but for now, we are just using this old wicker basket and it works just fine. I felt it deep inside, beautiful woman. People are talking me down, beautiful. Next, I'm just starting to load up our dishwasher. This is something I usually do every single night. If you've seen my nighttime routines, this part has not changed at all. I have done this for years and I just feel like when you do all of your dishes, whether you're hand washing them or you're loading them up at the dishwasher, it really starts your day off well. I feel like your nighttime routine is even more important than a good morning routine because it just sets you up for success the next day and you don't wake up with a huge to-do list on your plate the moment you get out of bed. Once 
once I had all of our dishes hand washed or loaded up in the dishwasher, I just wanted to clean out our sink. And usually I will end up just using some dish soap, but on this night I just wanted to shine up our sink really nice and so I used the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleaner. This is definitely a cleaning staple in my house and has been for the last few years. I actually get this from Grove Collaborative. I'm not sure if you can find it at Target, you might be able to, but I would definitely recommend checking this one out. It's just abrasive enough to get things scrubbed off without actually scratching the surface of anything. And it also leaves behind a really nice shine. So you guys will love this one. And as I've mentioned before, I do get most all of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. So I will have a link down below in case you want to check them out. So to keep things really easy tonight, I'm just using my e-cloths with water. This is just the general purpose cloth and this cloth has an amazing technology where you're actually able to disinfect with just using water. So it is one of my favorites and then I'm just going behind it with a glass and polishing cloth and that's just kind of to dry off our granite and give it a nice shine. And I should have an e-cloth coupon code for you guys within the next few days. So if you are wanting to order them, check back in the description box and that code should be waiting for you. Also, I did want to mention if you missed my last video, I will link it up above in an iCard for you guys right here. But if you missed that last video, I finally, and I seriously mean finally because this took me an entire year to do or to get around to actually figuring out what I wanted to do, but I finally redid our kitchen chairs. So if you remember, they used to be a just dark brown wood and I went ahead and painted them white and then I left the seats the dark brown to kind of tie in with our table and we love them so, so, so much. I can't regret Even though I may be sad
So this is kind of a special video to me because this is actually the last video I will ever film with this couch. We have had this couch since we lived in South Dakota. We've had it for several years and it's been such a good couch to us, but we just are feeling like we need a little bit more seating. And so as you may have known, we've been kind of on the hunt for a new couch for a while. We actually found one and it was perfect. And then it ended up being too big for the space. And then on one of Kyle's and my date night recently, we actually went furniture shopping and we found the perfect couch for us. So we are so excited for this new couch. We are loving it, but that just meant that we had to say goodbye to this couch. So I wanted to go ahead and take the pillows off and wash all of the pillow covers. And then I also wanted to give this couch a really good clean since we were going to be getting rid of it. It's in the system, it's in our blood You cannot keep me from looking for love Don't wanna hide it, ain't gonna lie Once the couch was all clean, it was time for Kyle and I to move this out to the garage. And let me tell you, this thing is very sturdy, so it was such a heavy couch. But as we kind of took everything out of our living room, our living room just looked so bare, and it actually made it look so much bigger. And it just reminded us of our first night in the house when we didn't have furniture in the house or anything. It was just kind of a neat feeling because it's not often that once you live in a house and you're not moving, you actually take out your furniture. But it was just really neat to see this space wide open again. My words may fit. And this right here is another real life moment for you guys. This is probably one of the things that I disliked about this couch so much is that because it is so sturdy, it has a steel frame all along the bottom. So it's not something that I can actually get underneath with our vacuum. Anytime I wanted to vacuum underneath it, I would have to have Kyle hold it up and then vacuum underneath it. And it was just a big process. And so as you can see, I was not able to vacuum under it very often. And a lot of things were left underneath it. And another back-to-back -back real moment, I went over this entire rug almost with this vacuum and I felt like it wasn't vacuuming very well. And you can kind of see I'm like confused, like trying to figure out what is going on with this. 
and it turns out there was a toy from one of the kids games in it and it was blocking almost all of the sections so then I had to go back through and vacuum the entire rug one more time we are going to be getting a different rug because this one doesn't really fit the new couch and I'm also kind of wanting something that's not a shag rug while I do love the feel of the shag rug I feel like because it is just such a used space it's just a space that I want a rug that's easier to clean and so if you guys have any recommendations of where to get a rug or if you guys have any ideas of what kind of rugs would look good in this space, let me know or send me a message over on Instagram. I would love any ideas because we are currently shopping for one. The very last thing that I needed to do in here was just to go ahead and sweep and mop and although it was really late and I was getting very tired, I did just want to really give this whole floor a really great mop. It's definitely not often that you have barely any furniture on the floor and so I really did want to take advantage of that. The mop that I was using on this night is by far my favorite mop I have ever had and it is the E-Cloth Aqua Spray Mop. I love it because I hate mopping and this just makes it so much easier for me and it also disinfects your floor with just water so I feel like that is just such a win. If you guys are interested in getting one for yourself, like I said I should have a coupon for you guys within the next week or so so I would recommend holding off until I get that coupon for you guys and it will save you guys a little bit extra money. But I would definitely recommend checking out this mop it's amazing Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide so I hope you guys enjoyed this after dark clean with me and I hope this gave you all the cleaning motivation you are needing today. I am so excited to share the big reveal of our new couch. If you are following me over on Instagram, you might have already seen the little sneak peek that I shared over there. 
but otherwise the couch reveal will be going up next week so be on the lookout for that video i hope you guys have an amazing day do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head over to instagram and follow me over there and i will see you in my next one bye guys